Hello everybody, it's Carl Muller in Australia. I'm a beginner China painter and recently an experienced China painter showed me how she paints gum leaves. These are gum leaves which are everywhere in Australia. I was really impressed with the technique that she used, so impressed that I thought I would share it in this video. So the first step was to have a very close look at the gum leaves, the structure, noticing those little holes that insects often cause and these little gum nuts, which is the woody fruit of a gum tree. Now this is what a flower looks like, fairly typical flower of a gum tree. They're all different colours of course. Then I did some um, practicing on paper, just how the design could look. Uh, this is a very simple design, probably would work quite well on um, a vase perhaps, but a very good simple design which suits a beginner like me. So just practicing the gum nuts and the flowers and then once I was confident enough I sketched directly onto the teapot just with a pencil and then um, did the penning went over those lines with the, the paint using a pen so I tried to go over both sides of the teapot and over the lid as well and here it is fired on and then after that I started putting some colors on so um, left the highlights, didn't paint those, left plenty of highlights, put a little few brown marks to make the leaves look realistic. And the red flowers. And then that was fired. Now the gum leaves have got these very very fine veins going from the mid vein to the edge of the leaf. The teacher suggested a really good way of letting the brush do the work with those veins. Painting from the mid vein towards the edge, it means the brush is sort of making those very, very fine veins. So I actually used a bigger brush when I was painting on the teapot, but this is an example of how it was shown to me. And then with the red flowers, I basically used the tip of the brush to pull those red stamens in towards the bud. This is how it was shown to me. And then once I had enough darkness at the bottom, I just got the wipeout tool and pulled them out to make them look realistic. And then the next fire, I intensified all those shading shadow areas with more paint, preserved those highlights, put some little yellow dots on the end of the flowers and decided that's finished.